How's it going? My name is David, and welcome back to The Restyle File. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, and eBay, and I also could sign on The Real Real. We are fast approaching the holiday season, so I have busted out one of my holiday sweaters. Nice vintage piece right here. Just take a look at all this vintage, vintage dad core right here. Switch my venue just a little bit as well. Usually I just film in front of a blank wall, but I recently sourced these from the trash and I, I kind of like the look of them. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Today I have a what sold video for you to cover my sales from December the 3rd through December the 9th. And it has been a fantastic sales week. Before we continue, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a video. Not sure if it's a holiday, but as we are getting closer to December, it is really starting to pick up. We're gonna start off with Sunday the 3rd. I had four Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. The first sale was a Benedetta TriStar Color Block Crochet Bikini Top Size Large. It sold for $27, which was an offer facilitated by Flip. After Poshmark's fees, I received $19.58. I paid $1.75 for that bikini top at a Family Dress Center outlet, so my total profit was $17.83. Did not have selling bikinis in December on my bingo card. The next sale was a Stuart Weitzman Black Leather Bow Heel Size 9. They sold for $40, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $32. I paid a dollar for those heels at a charity shop in South Texas, so my total profit was $31. I don't typically source Stuart Weitzman, but this is a classic style, and I could totally see someone, even if they're not buying it for a party or for casual wear, then they may buy it just for the office. The next sale was a Tamara Melon Tan Neutral Suede Braided Point Toe Heel Size 8. They sold for $70, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $56, and I paid $15 for those heels at a Salvation Army. So my total profit was $41. I bought these a while back, along with another pair of Tamara Melon shoes, and this is apparently pretty expensive retail. They have sat for a while, but when they finally do sell, they seem to sell for pretty decent money. The next sale on Poshmark was a Tucker Nuck Maxine Oversized Soft Cozy Sweater Dress Size Extra Small. It sold for $45, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $36. I paid $7 for that dress at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $29. Tucker Nuck, I've only sold a couple of times, but it sold pretty well the couple of times I've had it, uh, usually very, very quickly, and for pretty decent money. And that being said, this sweater was just 100% acrylic, so it appears that the brand has a lot of pull. The last sale for Sunday was on eBay. It was a Coach Vintage Brown Suede Belt Size 34. It sold for $30, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $25.75. I paid $2 for that belt at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $23.75. I love selling vintage coach, especially belts. They never last long, and they always split for at least $25 to $35. The next day of sales was Monday the 4th. I had three Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. My first Poshmark sale was a Land's End Vintage Cotton Navy Mock Neck T-shirt size large. It sold for $12. After Poshmark's fees, I received $9.05. I'm going to say I had $0 into that because it came from my personal closet. So my total profit is $9.05. I had a mock neck phase a few years ago where I just wore mock necks all the time just because it was a little less dressy than a turtleneck but a little more dressy than a t-shirt and I had this in a pile just because I thought no one's gonna buy this I'm just gonna dump it at a buffalo change or Plato's closet but I listed it on a day when I had nothing else to really list uh, that was ready to go and it actually sold fairly quickly I'm really surprised by that one. The next sale was a Billy Reed Cotton Alpaca Soft Shirt Jacket Size Large. It sold for $50, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $40. I paid $21 for that jacket at a Buffalo Exchange, so my total profit was $19. Billy Reed is super expensive retail, and the couple of times that I've tried listing it, it's been slightly hit and miss. I have another 
sort of jacket that's similar to this one that's been sitting for a while, but perhaps this one's sold faster because it's a larger size. I purchased that a couple of weeks ago at a Buffalo Exchange just because it was discounted and it sold very quickly. The next sale on Poshmark was a Dana Buckman Vintage Festival Crochet Black Tank Top Size Large. It sold for $12. After Poshmark's fees, I received $9.05. I paid a dollar for that at a family thrift center outlet, so my total profit was $8.05. I've had that thing forever. I'm so happy to see it go. The last sale for Monday was on eBay. It was a Crazy Shirts Hawaii Made in USA Brown Drawstring Cotton Shorts Size Extra Large. They sold for $20, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $17.38. I paid $3 for those shorts at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $14.38. This brand, Crazy Shirts, is a Hawaiian local brand, so if you see it, it doesn't flip for insane amounts of money, but it usually sells fairly quickly. We'll usually flip for anywhere from $18 to $30, depending on what you got has a pretty consistently good sell-through rate as well. The next day of sales was Tuesday the 5th. I had three eBay sales. My eBay really popped off this week. My first eBay sale was a J. Crew warm, tan, slim fit, cotton, Oxford, button-down shirt, size medium. It sold for $20, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $16.47. This came from my personal closet, so I'm gonna chalk up that $16.47 as my profit for the sale. Another item that I was going to take to Buffalo Exchange and I listed and it sold really quickly. So strange. The next sale, oof, the next sale was an absolutely fantastic sale. It was a Suit Supply Lavello Patch Red Wool Double Breast Overcoat, size 44, new without tags. It sold for $340, which was an offer. I initially listed it at $400. After eBay's fees, I received $291.99. I did pay up for this coat at $75. So my total profit is $216.99. This was such a satisfying sale. And this coat was divine. It was beautiful. I almost wanted to keep it for myself, but it was just a little bit snug. And I feel like holding on to like name brand wool outerwear doesn't really make sense if you live in Texas. Although that being said, I think it went to California. But I saw this coat at Buffalo Change and they had it priced at $75. And I looked all over and the front pockets were sewn shut. The vent also still had the little X stitch at the bottom and the interior was impeccable. So it really didn't appear that it had ever been worn. And these retail for about $500. So I was fairly confident that at $75, I can make a decent profit on it. And it sold in less than a day. How I wish I could just replicate those types of sales over and over and over and over but it was so nice and they quickly received it and they also immediately left positive feedback. So really fantastic experience with that coat. The last sale for Tuesday on eBay was a Brighton vintage 90s black leather equestrian horse bit snaffle clasp belt size medium. It sold for $40, which was my full asking price. After eBay's fees, I received $34.57. I paid $3 for that belt at a Goodwill, so my total profit was $31.57. I asked for a bit more money than I typically would with Brighton belts on this one, just because you can't tell me that you can look at this belt and not automatically think Gucci. Gucci is basically synonymous with the horse bit, which is apparently called the snaffle clasp. I had no idea what that term meant, but my Google image results pulled that term up, so I definitely kept it in my listing. But I think that was the main appeal of this belt, that anyone who looked at it would probably think that it is Gucci when it's just Brighton. The next day was Wednesday the 6th. I had one Mercari sale and two eBay sales. My Mercari sale was an M. Jemmy the Sacco Donna Penny Loafer in black suede size 9.5. They sold for $88, which was an offer. 
After the cost to ship the item, since I offer free shipping on Mercari and Mercari's fees, I received $67.48. I paid $13 for those shoes at Goodwill, so my total profit was $54.48. Penny loafers and sort of these academia style shoes are definitely on trend right now, have been for a while. And these shoes were like 300 bucks brand new. So even though there wasn't a lot of comps on Poshmark or most of them were selling for like $40 or something sad like that, I felt that these were a good gamble and it paid off. The next sale was on eBay. It was a Banana Republic Fall 2005 Nylon Blend Minimalist Black Coat Size Medium. It sold for $38, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $30.98. I had $0 into that because it came from my personal closet. So my total profit is $30.98. The next sale was a J. Crew Factory Wool Blend Schoolboy Purple Blazer Size 2. It sold for $40, which was my full asking price. After eBay's fees, I received $33.38. I paid $6 for that blazer at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $27.38. The next day of sales was Thursday the 7th. I had one Poshmark sale and two eBay sales. The Poshmark sale was a Temperley London Black Tuxedo Stripe Wide Leg Pants, new without tags, size 4. They sold for $50, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $40. I paid $7 for those pants at Goodwill, so my total profit was $33. I'd never heard of this brand, but I looked it up, and it was pretty expensive retail. When I got them home, they were just in my hanging death pile in my second bathroom for a long time, but I finally steamed them and pictured them and listed them, and they actually sold in a decent amount of time. I think probably about a month. The next sale was on eBay. It was a Ralph by Ralph Lauren Vintage Black Sheer Duster Minimalist Trench Coat Size Large. It sold for $57, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $49.75. I paid $3.50 for that trench coat at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $46.25. This was a really interesting piece just because it was almost completely sheer. It was very, very thin and wispy and super lightweight. And I figured my goth peeps, my minimalist peeps would be all over it. And it had a fair amount of attention on pretty much all platforms and sold within a matter of a few weeks. I would have probably asked for a bit more, but it actually did have some tearing on the sides that was hand stitched by the previous owner. I almost wanted to keep it for myself, but I really don't know when I would have an opportunity to wear a sheer trench coat. So off it goes. The next sale was a Spanx Slimming Moto Glam Black Faux Leather Sequin Legging Size Medium. They sold for $55, which was my full asking price. After eBay's fees, I received $46.24. I paid $6 for those leggings at Goodwill, so my total profit was $40.24. I think I heard Becky Park say recently that Spanx has been cooling off, and I gotta agree, I had these for a long time, so happy to see them go. We are moving on to Friday the 8th. I had one Poshmark sale, one Mercari sale, and two eBay sales. My Poshmark sale was an Alpen Rock gray long sleeve shirt size 3. It sold for $68, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $54.40. I paid $4.50 for that shirt at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $49.90. I had never heard of this label before, but I heard about it over on Jack and Ryan's channel. It finally sold, and for a really fantastic price. The next sale was on Mercari. It was an Avion Vintage 80s Black Distressed Wide Leather Asymmetrical Belt Size Medium Slash Large. It sold for $35, which was an offer. After Mercari's fees and the cost of ship, I received $23.98. I paid $1.50 for that belt at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $22.48. I bought this a long time ago thinking that I was just going to sell it at Buffalo Exchange. I think this was way before I was even a reseller and they did not buy it. Why? I don't know. It's incredible. 
And it went into my depth file and I finally listed it recently and it got a lot of attention on a lot of the applications and it sold fairly quickly. The next sale was an Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0 green olive knit sneakers size 11 and a half. They sold for $65, which was an offer. After you base fees, I received $56.11. I paid $13 for those shoes at Goodwill, so my total profit was $43.11. I feel like recently, with most of the Goodwills that I've been frequenting, whenever they have decent sportswear shoes, they've been marking them up at like $20 or $25 or $30, even if they're not in the best condition. But these actually weren't too bad, and they were priced at $13. So the midsoles were a little bit yellowed, but I just put some dishwash detergent on them and they cleaned up really nice and they sold very quickly as well. Another really fast sale was this Universal Works Twill Fatigue Green Cotton Utility Pants size 32. They sold in less than a day for $48, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $40.30. I paid $7 for these pants at Goodwill, so my total profit was $33.30. Universal Works makes a lot of sort of military reproduction clothing for military aficionados, so if you ever see it, it's likely worth picking up. Check comps. The last sales day we're going to talk about is Saturday the 9th. I had two Poshmark sales, one Mercari sale, and two eBay sales. My first Poshmark sale was an Eileen Fisher DeLove Pinstripe Organic Cotton Midi Dress Size 3X. It sold for $50, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I received $40. I paid $3 for that dress at a charity shop in South Texas, so my total profit was $37. Y'all know I love selling Eileen Fisher, and interestingly enough, this was the one that got taken down by Poshmark a couple of weeks ago. I got an email notification saying that someone from Eileen Fisher or someone who's allowed to speak on behalf of Eileen Fisher uh, reported it as utilizing their intellectual property since I had a picture of one of their uh, stock images. So I went ahead and relisted it and just didn't include that photo. And thankfully I have a mannequin, so it at least gave it some shape and it sold just as well as Eileen Fisher always does. On that note, I did go ahead and comb through all of my Eileen Fisher listings on Poshmark and took down any that had any sort of model photos. It's kind of hard to find model photos for a lot of Eileen Fisher stuff, so there really wasn't that many, but you live and learn. The next sale on Poshmark was a pretty exciting one. It was a Mari Meckel Vintage 80s Rare Blue Wool Printed Sweater Cardigan Set Size Small. It sold for $135, which was an offer. After Poshmark's fees, I'm receiving $105.98. I paid $8 for that set at a Salvation Army, so my total profit is $97.98. Mari Meko is a European brand, I believe, and they're especially well known for their prints, and they've been around for a long time. This item did take a long time to sell as well, just because it's fairly dated. And on that note, these pieces were not in perfect condition. They had a couple of holes in both items, but nothing that I think detracted from either item's beauty. I believe someone asked me if I'd be willing to split up the pair, and I told them I was, but I am so thrilled that someone bought both of them. I don't know about y'all, but it physically pains me, the idea of separating pieces of clothing that were meant to be together. I go like full OCD. And if I'm at a thrift store and I see like a skirt that clearly is part of a set and the blazer is over in another section, like I will, I will unite them and put them through that little hole. That way you could hang them both together. And that way, if anyone does find it and purchases it, even if I'm not buying it, I'll do that just so that someone gets the full set. And I don't know, it just feels wrong to have these items split up. Am I weird for that? Does anyone else do that? Let me know in the comments below. The next sale was on Mercari. It was a Salvatore Ferragamo Vintage Oxblood Leather Kill Tie Moccasin Loafers, size 8.5. They sold for $36, which was an offer. After Mercari's fees and the cost of ship the item, I'll be receiving about $22.86. I paid $1.50 for those shoes 
at a family thrift center outlet. So my total profit is $21.36. I remember I bought these a long time ago thinking I was going to send them into the real rail and cash in, but nope, they are not worth that much money at all. At least not vintage Ferragamo. And they didn't even bother with them. They rejected them saying that they were too discolored, but they fell into my death pile. I finally recently listed them and they sold pretty decently, pretty quickly. With men's formal shoes or loafers or brogues, I really recommend investing in a pair of shoe trees. I feel like having a nice pair of wooden shoe trees helps to make your shoes look 10 out of 10. Just a little bit of polish in a shoe tree and your photos will look 10 times better instantly. I feel like you could even command a slightly higher price point because your photos look nicer. It makes your items look a little bit more luxurious. And thrift stores are lousy with shoe trees. You can find them pretty often and they're not terribly expensive whenever you do find them. On that note, please make sure to include in your listing shoe trees not included. Some people might feel entitled to them and want them along with their purchase. The next sale was on eBay and it was a Guess Vintage 90s Y2K blue denim overall midi sheath dress size medium. It sold for $50, which was my full asking price. After eBay's fees, I received $41.83. I paid $8.59 for that dress at a Goodwill, so my total profit was $33.24. I was so ecstatic about the sale just because I initially picked this item up at Goodwill thinking, oh, it's going to do incredible. It's like sort of bodycon and it's overall and it's denim and it's 90s and it's Y2K and it's vintage. And... I checked comps when I got home, which I'm guilty of doing sometimes, and the comps were not it. They were, for the same dress, they were selling for about $25, maybe $30 at the top end. And I mean, if I'm paying $8, I want a little bit more than that. Thankfully, there didn't really appear to be that many other listings available, and I made sure to pull out all the stops with mannequin photos on this one. And I think it really helped to push it over. I got a lot of attention on this dress on all of my platforms. I think I had like 20 likes or so on eBay when it finally sold. My last sale for eBay was a Chico's Black Faux Leather Trim Belted Zip Jacket Size 2, which y'all know Chico's uses vanity sizing, so that's the equivalent of a US 12 or 14. The jacket sold for $65, which was an offer. After eBay's fees, I received $53.48. I paid $7 for that jacket at a Salvation Army, so my total profit was $46.48. I picked up this jacket after seeing how well Becky Park seems to do with Chico's and Talbot's, and I'm really pleased with how much I made on it. That's it for my sales for the week. Let's go ahead and summarize our totals. Starting with Poshmark, I sold 11 items for $559. After Poshmark's fees, I received $442.06. I paid $69.25 for the items that sold. So my total profit on Poshmark was $372.81. On Mercari, I sold three items for a total of $159. After Mercari's fees and the cost to ship some of the items, I received $114.32. I paid $16 for the items that sold on Mercari, so my total profit was $98.32. On eBay, I sold 13 items for a total of $868. After eBay's fees, I received $738.23. I paid $134.09 for the items that sold on eBay, so my total profit was $604.14. eBay killed it this week. Let's go ahead and talk grand total. So I sold a total of 27 items for $1,586. After the fees associated with the platforms and the cost to ship some of those, I received $1,294.61. My total cost of goods for the week is $219.34. So my grand total is $1,075.27. I feel like it's been forever since I've broken $1,000 in profit. So I am absolutely thrilled to see it and it couldn't have come at a better time during the holidays. So super thankful for all these sales. 
I hope you all are also starting to see some of that holiday traffic browsing your closet. If not, hopefully it happens in the next couple of weeks for you. I'd love to know if you've had any fantastic sales, any fantastic pickups, or even just stuff for yourself. Let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I really appreciate your support. Until we meet again, see ya. I don't know if it's necessarily obvious, but my favorite holiday by a long shot is Christmas. You know, for all the cheesy reasons of just like the air outside feels different and people seem to be kinder to each other and it's just a time of the year when you spend more time with your family and your loved ones. I just think it's all around the best holiday. I don't typically care too much about any other holiday really, but Christmas I find to be really special. On that note though, I don't really do too much in terms of decorating. I used to have a Christmas tree, which I absolutely loved. And the reason I loved it is because it was black. So that might sound depressing or dreary for some people, but I swear, when you put white lights on a black Christmas tree, it's just incredible. It looks amazing. I'm devastated to say that I did eventually get rid of it just because I used to have a smaller apartment and there really wasn't anywhere to keep a Christmas tree only to have it up for a couple of weeks. I do have another Christmas tree that I absolutely love. And it's perfectly economy sized. Are you ready? It's a palm tree. I grew up in South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, and we have palm trees absolutely everywhere. So this really reminds me of home a lot and it's just really nice. I like it a lot. I'm really looking forward to the season and spending some time with family and probably putting my store on pause for a few weeks just so I can truly relax. I hope that you and your loved ones have a fantastic holiday season. And if you're selling as well, I hope you have fantastic sales over the next couple of weeks. It is definitely a great time for it. And until next time, see ya. Okay, I just, I just had to show you guys what it looks like with the lights off, so. Isn't it pretty? The lights, they look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.